This video has been presented by Ben's Garage. Please be sure to subscribe and like for more tutorials. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Ben from Ben's Garage. Today we're going to be looking at a lawnmower carburetor. We're going to take it apart and put it back together and clean it all up inside. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a half inch ratchet. You want to go ahead and take the bolt off. Go ahead and set the bolt off to the side. You can go ahead and remove the bolt cover from it. You want to check your bolt cover for any debris. And if there is any, just go ahead and wipe it out with a towel. Once you're doing that, you can also go ahead and spray some carburetor cleaner if you have any. If not, WD-40 works just as fine. We'll put that aside. Next thing you want to do is you want to disconnect the connecting rod for the float. Go ahead and use a needle nose pliers for that. You can go ahead and pull the rod out, put it aside. And here's your float and your needle. You want to make sure your needle is clean. If it is, go ahead and put it aside. Next is your float bowl. If your float bowl has any fuel in it, it's a bad float, so you need to go get a new one if there isn't any. You're good to go. Just clean the outside and put it aside. Now on this particular carburetor, the jet is just not screwed in to here. So all you have to do then is to take the O-ring cover off. Make sure it's still good. In this case it is. Then I'm going to use a paper towel and get all the debris off on the outside. Then we're going to put the O-ring back onto it. Once that's on, you can go ahead and get your float assembly back together. So you want your bowl and your needle. In this case, you can go ahead and slide the needle right on the plastic shroud and it'll hold it into place. Then you want to align the needle itself to the small hole in the carburetor here. Once you're done with that, go ahead and get your connecting rod and put the two pieces together. You want to make sure the rod is centered. And you want to make sure that the needle rises with the bowl. In this case it does just fine. So we can go ahead and reassemble. You want to put your bowl cover back on. Now we're going to put the carburetor aside and we're going to check out the main jet screw here. There will be a small hole to the side right here and there will be a large hole down here. To make sure that it's not clogged up, you can go ahead and get a small nail and go inside the hole. Make sure that it's clear of all debris as well as the bottom hole. Spray some carburetor cleaner in there. Works just fine. And make sure your gasket's still good. If it's not, it'll just leak fuel. So let's put it back on. Just simply screw it back into place. And you want to tighten it up. Not too tight, otherwise you'll strip them. So just tight enough so that there's no fuel that'll pop out of them. And that's how you reassemble a lawnmower carburetor.